Hi and welcome to Orbit. Scales can weight you. And then there are smart scales that can weigh you and they can tell some additional data. And then there is the Withings body scan, which can tell you pretty much when you're going to die. Well, not quite, but almost. Let me explain. I tested the Withings body scan for about three months. And if you wonder, I wear socks in this video, but when you use this scale, you are not supposed to wear socks. Just so you know. I think every object, no matter how unimportant it may seem, can and should be designed mindfully. A scale is also part of the decor and when I look at it every day, year after year, it just makes me happy when I have a nice one. That's why I bought my first Withings scale in 2018. Not only because the features had convinced me, but also because it looks beautiful. The new body scan is sleek, flat and timeless. The top is made out of glass, the underlining structure is matte plastic. A bit of a shame, as the old Withings scale was aluminium on the bottom as well. On the side there is a USB-C port for charging, which you have to do once a year if you use it daily. In 10 years only 10 charges, I think that's kind of funny. There's only one button and you only have to press it once during the setup. The unusual thing about the scale is that there is a sensor bar which you can lift up and it is connected to a high quality cord. I'll explain why this is necessary and possible in just a moment. What I really liked is the display. It is a color OLED with a sufficient resolution. Certainly the best display I've ever seen in a scale and I like that I see the weather forecast of the day every morning. And here's my first of two big cons of this scale and the first one is the color. And normally the color is a subjective thing, but in this case it's not. High gloss black on a product that sits on the floor is like trying to build something that gets dirty quickly. Dust, water, feet and creams and whatever else there is in a bathroom will always cause the scale to look dirty even with the cleanest person on earth owning it. I do not understand this decision and I really hope that they bring out the announced white version soon. In a very simplified way, smart scales work in such a way that the minimal current, one that you can't even notice goes to the bare foot into one leg into the body and out of the other foot and then there is measured how long that lasted. And that provides information on muscle, water, bone and fat content. But because electricity always seeks the shortest path Strictly speaking, only the lower body is recorded. And that's where the sensor bar of the body scan comes in handy. Through it, the four endpoints of our body are measured and the results are not only more accurate, they are also more informative. The data now makes it possible to calculate the arms, the legs and the torso individually and that's why in the app you can also see the muscle and the fat distribution at this relative points. And I think that it is very nice and understandable solved with the 3D model. The readings are then compared with other Withings users, which is almost a bit nasty because Withings users are more sport affine than the average user. Another feature made possible by the sensor bar is a 6 channel ECG. Smartwatches only support one channel, the current gold standard in medicine is 12 channels and why is an ECG important? I'm quoting the German Heart Foundation. In Germany, an estimated 1.5 to 2 million people suffer from atrial fibrillation, many without knowing it. In about 30% of these people affected by cardiac arrhythmia, the disease does not cause any noticeable symptoms. It is often only the traumatic consequences, such as a stroke, that draw attention to this illness. It is therefore very important to detect and treat the illness as soon as possible, not when it is already too late." End quote. I've linked all my sources below. Doing an ECG every day is of course a bit extensive and sometimes I'm super tired and I have to stand still 30 seconds on the scale and that is kind of hard. Another measurement is the pulse wave velocity. It indicates how long the waves generated by the heart take to travel along the arteries. If the arteries become stiffer that's a bad sign for heart health, cholesterol levels or it indicates diabetes. The value is given once in meter per second and then a bit more day to day in vascular age. When I first tried the body scan at IFA 2022 in Berlin, it felt like a wake up call. I was shocked when the scale determined my vascular age to be 35 to 40 years old. That directly motivated me to get fitter and now I'm at 25 to 29 years, 
so quite in line with my 27 years. The third new data that the body scan can measure is nerve health. For example, there is an illness that can be detected that is caused by diabetes, extensive alcohol consumption or wrong medication. The long-term reading of such data can maybe give a doctor practical advice or better yet, motivate you to change your lifestyle at early stages. There have been some studies that show that if you weigh yourself daily, you are much more capable of reaching your goal of your dream weight. And I would say that if you see daily that your veins are older than yourself, you will do sports. I did my best to cross-check the scale data. First, the weight matches with other scales I had access to. Second, the pulse was on spot. Third, Withings had the body scan clinical validated. I saw this former tech CEO who spends 2 million a year to reverse his aging process and he is also standing on the Withings scale every morning. Kind of makes clear that there is nothing more accurate. But all kidding aside, I can say how accurate fat and muscle values really are but even if they are not completely accurate, that would be half the battle in my opinion. Because the most interesting thing about these values is how they change over time. Every morning I weigh myself on an empty stomach and if there is an increase in my body percentage over a period of time, I definitely know that there is something wrong. In total, this scale supports up to 8 users and 200 kilograms of weight and it is accurate to 50 grams. My experience with smart products is that the app plays a crucial role in how consistently I use them. If the app looks bad and is super complicated, no matter how good the product is, I will not use it. Withing has one of the best apps I know. It is beautiful, easy to understand and not only displays the data, it also puts it into perspective and explains what the impact is on my health. It's by far my favorite app for health data and one of the biggest reasons why I bought almost every Withings product. The data is stored with European standards on servers in France. That is not an unimportant aspect with such sensitive information. The data of the last six months was really interesting because since then I live vegetarian and I do regular sport again. I could see what exactly affects my diet and what I have to do to gain weight. It did work. But I do not only have praise for this app. I would wish that they give even more health advice. Do I need to do more cardio? Or when is my idle sleep time? Or which muscle group has a deficit? And now there is the second big criticism of this product. And it is the price. It's 400 euros. That is super expensive. And I don't think that most people can afford it or want to afford it. And I don't think that most people need it. It's totally overkill. But there are two types of people who I think will benefit from a scale like this. And the first one are people that do bodybuilding with meal prep and the nutrients check and everything. I think they can benefit the additional data. And second, people that are afraid of getting a stroke because they had some in their families and they had some problems with it and maybe they are a little bit older and they definitely can see some data that warns them early on. So it will be worth it for them. If you don't need the full body muscle feature or the EKG, you can buy the Withings Body Comp, which is half the price but can also measure the whole blood thing in your veins. So Maybe that's a good option for you. I hope this video was informative and I see you in the next one. Bye.